Hi everybody, it's Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. Hope everybody's doing fantastic. Molly had to weigh in. Hi Molly. Um, today is Sunday, uh, August 6th, I believe. Um, and yes, and it's 8.20 in the morning and I've got to leave. <laughs> Molly says hi. I've got to leave for church in a few minutes, but I wanted to do an intro for this video. Um, it's a little different video today. I've never done anything like this, so I'm excited about it. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Um, it could be, <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to find out. I am going to, um, <laughs> hi Molly, I love you. Yes, you're a good girl. Um, I'm going to see how many octos I can crochet in one day. Now, um, my goal is 10. And they take me about 15 minutes each. So that's not really a big part of my day. You know, 15 minutes times 10. That's a few hours. Um, you know, give or take. And um, so I'm using the blanket yarn. Okay, hold on. I need to <laughs> relocate the cat. Go on, Molly. Go from that side. There we go. So I'm using blanket yarn. Here is um, one basket of blanket yarn and supplies. Um, I have no idea how many I'm going to do of each color or what colors I'm going to use. I've got my K-hook. Um, I think it's a K-hook. Yeah, it's a K-hook. Right, Molly? I've got another basket of supplies. Um, I've got some Bernat Orange. Very specific plan for that one. I've got some blanket yarn I got from Timu. Um, they have some really nice colors. In fact, I bought some more. I mean, they're little balls, but they're cute colors. So I just got those yesterday. I've got my safety eyes. I am using, um, what are they, 12? Yes, the 12 millimeter plain black safety eyes. I've also, <laughs> hello. <laughs> I've also got some special little things that I don't know if I'm using today, but they're in my little, um, my little basket. I've got some little witch hats. I have an idea. I got some crazy eyes on Timu. I got some sunglasses on Timu. And I even <laughs> I even got there's more more things of more glasses, more eyes. Where's the one I'm looking for? I even got you can't see these really good. Well maybe you can. I even got some little soda cans. <laughs> and I got some little hamburgers. Now, again, disclaimer, I don't know what I'm using today. I might not use any of that. I might just do regular octos. I've got this whole idea about doing um, a little subcategory of octos with attitude. So that's where, like, the witch hats come in. And, you know, yeah, you'll have to wait and see. Um, so... My plan today is to make little clips throughout the day and just kind of show you my progress on how things are going. Um, because I know me, and if I just make the, um, like, the shells of the octopus, you know, without stuffing and stuff, then it, it's just going to be, I'll, they'll be sitting forever and <laughs> waiting for me to finish them up. So I am doing one complete octo finished, ready to go. I might even price it and put the price tag on it and get it ready to go to the store before I start the next one. So, um, <laughs> Molly. <laughs> oh my goodness. You haven't been in a video in a long time, huh, Miss Molly? Yeah. Um, so my goal is 10. If I do less, that's great. If I do more, that's great. If I do them all blue, that's great. If I do all different colors, it's just, it's, we're going to see where this goes today. Um, I'm really getting back to um, having my Sundays be church and rest and relaxation, um, which is really hard because I have a lot of projects that I want to, like, like house projects, you know, clean this and organize this. But no, um, it's for rest and relaxation. And I include crochet, obviously, in rest and relaxation. So <laughs> I'm going to go to church. I'm going to come home. I do have to water my garden. And, um, I think that's about it. 
maybe take a shower, get some comfy clothes on. Then I'm going to turn on TV. There's a, there's a TV channel that I watch that shows like uh, retro shows like um, uh, the Jetsons. They're going to show, um, what's that for? Oh, Brady Bunch, Leave it to Beaver. And then I don't know what they show after that because I usually fall asleep. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to, um, be crocheting this afternoon. I'm so excited because I've been so busy this week. I really haven't done much crocheting, um, anyway. And then now I get to have a whole afternoon and evening dedicated to it, dedicated to Octos. And why am I choosing Octos? Because, um, I made four of these in the blanket yarn and they sold in my store. Um, I, there might be one left, but I haven't been there in a couple days. So, um, yeah, I brought them in. I brought four in last Monday and I mean, they just sold just like that. So, um, the pattern I'm using and I will link it in the description box below right now. The cat is laying on it. Thank you, Molly. Sorry. Um, the, it's a chunky octo from crochet customs and there is a video. And so I wrote the directions down because I couldn't find the printed one or it was just easy just to write it down. Um, and believe it or not, I'm sticking to the pattern. <laughs> I know a lot of times I do my own thing with patterns. Um, the only thing I am doing is I couldn't find, I didn't have a seven millimeter hook. So I'm using a six and a half millimeter um, K hook. I did not have an L hook, which I still find impossible to believe because I've got like hundreds of hooks, but I couldn't find an L hook. So K hook is working fine. Um, so yeah, all right, I'm gonna stop here. And um, I'm going to put in clips throughout the day. So keep watching. And um, yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen, but come along, come along for the ride. So here is Molly. She's ready to go. She's ready to make octos. I'm headed to church. Um, I told her she could start on her own if she wants, but um, <laughs> we'll see how, how that goes. to be a bigger project than I thought. <laughs> um, this is actually uh, me a, almost a week later. <laughs> so I started this project on, I'm sure it was last Sunday, I believe. And it was, you know, my goal to see how many I could, how many octos I could crochet. And um, I, my goal was 10. And as you can see by the pictures, um, I exceeded that goal. So let me kind of uh, do a little bit of a recap and then we're going to finish up the octos and however many I can finish um, in the next, I don't know, few 20, 30 minutes, um, I'm going to take to the store today and the rest I will finish up a different day and then show them to you on a different day. Um, so this is what I have currently. There are 16 octos in there and I know I... Um, <laughs> When I was first starting this video, my goal was one octo at a time, start to finish. I just don't think that's within my capability. Um, 
I started out, I think the very first one I did, I did it start to finish. And then I just started making the bodies and it's like, I'll finish them later. I'm on a roll. So um, four of them are actually in the shop right now. I'll put a picture of the, the four that I finished. I'll put the picture here. So um, I have 16 remaining and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to finish the orange ones right now. But let me show you, give you kind of a, a sneak peek on what the orange ones are going to be looking like. And I will show them to you, like I said, in a future video, um, probably coming up in a couple days. So the orange octos will, I haven't decided on the eyes, if I'm going to use the funky eyes. Maybe I will for one or two, but I did get some witch hats. Uh, let me quickly unwrap those. Sorry for the crinkling. So these little witch hats I got, and I'm going to make these into little witch octos. <laughs> these are part of my octos with attitude. Maybe I can even like... <laughs> anyway, those I am not going to finish today. I don't need to get them in the shop today. Um, they can wait a week or two. So those I'm going to put aside. So then I just have um, 12 of them that I'm going to try and finish within the next 20, 30 minutes, actually up to an hour. Um, so I'm going to be pausing and coming back to you and everything. <laughs> um, but let me just go through one of them. Let's show you kind of where I'm at. And all of the octos are... The crocheting is finished. So there's the top, the tentacles, the bottom, and then all I have to do is put the eyes in, stuff them, and sew up the opening. So I'm just going to go through one. I am using the 12 millimeter safety eyes. Don't know if I've said that before. I probably did. I'm probably going to repeat myself a lot because it was a week ago that I actually did the talking part for this video. <laughs> Um, these are so fun to make, so fun, so quick, so fun, so easy. Oh, I'm trying to open the package and, um, up here, it's already opened on the side. I'm spilling eye, eye backs everywhere, but I'm going to need them. So I'm going to push them over here. Um, and I believe this is three between rows three and four and three to four stitches apart. Now, when I'm putting the eyes in, because it is chunky yarn, I try not to put them between stitches because the opening is, it could stretch open. I know you can't see it on the camera that well. I try to nestle it in there like within a stitch, if that makes any sense. It's just a little more secure. And one, two, about three or four over. And I always check them. Hmm. A little bit closer. I always like to audition them. And actually on this one, I have noticed, oh, you know what? Taking a safety eye out is not easy. Um, oh, I did it. <laughs> because I, I, I had actually, um, I'm trying to be really careful. And this, the back part where it, I can tell personally where the back of the octo is, and so I'm trying to put the eyes in the front, but of course I didn't on that one. So let me try try again. Uh, one, two, between, throw, between rows three and four, and approximately three to four stitches apart. Okay, that looks good. Looks kind of like a spider <laughs> instead of an octo. Pop on the safety backs. So obviously I did, I was able to undo the safety eyes, which is not always possible. Um, but that just kind of, you know, lets you know that these are not for babies because the, the safety eyes are not as safe as embroidering the eyes. I do not like to embroider eyes, so I'm not going to go there. All right, let me grab a handful of stuffing. Now, when I stuff these, I don't like to make them hard as a brick. Um, I usually, I don't know, I go back and forth. I, I, I usually overstuff than understuff. Um, but these I'm trying not to overstuff because I think they're really nice when they're squishy. 
but you know the blanket yarn is squishy too so sorry if I did, wasn't holding this up to the camera that's not a normal <laughs> a normal position to be in okay so you know might put a little bit more in there because you know me I, I overstuff um, kind of squish it around there I try to get it to like to fill in all the all the sides I take my thumbs and I kind of push and I push out it's kind of hard to hard to explain but I kind of push out and then I have more area in the middle to fill I just find that I get a better stuff a better um, fill if I do that all right so that did not take much stuffing at all so what I'm gonna do when I sew that sew the opening closed and it looks like it's a really big big opening but it's it's fine um, I am gonna go and weave this I'm gonna get I'm gonna put it on a needle and I'm gonna weave in and out you can do it different ways I have woven like in and then pull it out on the inside or you can go under it reminds me of a game we used to play when I was little at school like window was it called windows or something you would go in and out and in and out and people would get in a big circle and we'd, you'd go in and out and anyway <laughs> so you could do that too you can go like in one side and out the other it's kind of hard to explain let me see if I can find my needle um so you can go where you go this way and then take the yarn through and then come back and go this way again all the way around or you can go this way and kind of like weave it in and out I'm not sure if I'm making any sense I am NOT a good tutorial person this is not a tutorial <laughs> this is just me showing you how I'm finishing my octo so sorry about that and you know it just kind of depends on what, what mood I'm in I usually do where I'm going from the outside to the inside instead of just always staying on the outside that's just kind of my preferred way but I'm just doing that all the way around and I'm kind of pulling a little bit as I go because um, if you don't kind of pull as you go with the blanket yarn it does tend to break it is not as strong as a worsted weight yarn and so I have broken my yarn before and that's not very fun to do when you're at the end of a project <laughs> all right so I think I've got all the way around maybe one more and it's not not rocket science but so then I've woven all around and I you can already see the holes a lot smaller I give it a little tug very gently kind of in increments and maybe even a little bit more okay don't want to break that yarn and then I'm just going to weave it in and out through the bottom to kind of close up instead of knotting it I don't usually knot it I just kind of weave it in and out like I'm doing in and out and just pulling it through inserting in another well close to where the needle is and kind of pulling it up and this also helps to kind of fill in if there's any um, if there's any holes at the bottom you can kind of do that now this is where my last octo my, my last octo my last tentacle always kind of bends forward so sometimes I take my yarn and I try to like smash that down that's not a big deal so then I always kind of fluff him back up again because he's been manhandled or woman handled <laughs> and there you go so I love these I think they are so much fun to make so much fun to sell that the the creativity choices are endless like I was showing you different eyes you could do embellishments so let me pause here and I'm going to finish up my 15 remaining octos um, and I'll get back to you and show you the end result one more thing I also wanted to show you the little tags that I put on them I bought these I believe I bought these on oh they can't you can't really see them anyway they say handmade with love 
and they're just a little tag. I put a little fastener on um, around one of the tentacles, or sometimes I put it in the back. And there's my price tag, which I know is also blurry. Sorry. There we go. A little bit better. And I just added the PL on the back of, it says VP Octo. VP is the code for my name. And that, so people will know, like the other co-ops know which page of the binder to put this on to record my sales. And then um, Octo is, I put the PL because for the plush, just for myself. And then it's $8.95. Um, if and when I go and do craft fairs, these will be $10. I've already just decided. <laughs> but for the store, that's what they are for now. So, all right, I will be back in a while. All right, I'm back with the final roundup for right now. Um, so I finished six. I have six blue ones, actually turquoise. I have six... Um, variegated pink purple yellow this is timu yarn and then um two of the purple wool so six total that are finished ready to go to the store to add to the four that i have already there unless they've sold actually i have five there um and so i have my four witch octos that i'm gonna finish later probably tomorrow and then i have one two, three, four, five, six of these left. And I think some of these, I'm going to take a little more time with them and I'm going to embellish them, um, put the funky eyes on, maybe even do uh, some with the glasses. So that's gonna take a little bit longer because I want the glue to dry and or figure out how to attach. It's gonna have to be glue for the glasses. So I'll be experimenting with the E6000 on those. Um, and then you never know what else might pop up in there. Maybe they want to, you know, drink a Pepsi <laughs> or something. <laughs> so I'm going to put, just leave all this stuff here. And so you'll see the um, final, final update on the remaining Octos on um, just a regular catch-up video I'm going to be doing in a day or two just to kind of show you um, some really amazing amigurumi that I've been working on. Um, really excited to show you. I have a couple more I want to finish. These are birthday presents that I'm working on. Um, I do have one finished and I'm dying to show it to you. It is my unicorn um, with the blanket yarn. It turned out so good, but you're just going to have to wait till the next video <laughs> because I want to show them to you all together. It'll be probably tomorrow um, or it's very, very, very soon because I have to get that stuff in the mail um, or I want to get that stuff in the mail on Monday. So I've got to make a video tomorrow. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to go back and edit. And so hopefully you have seen the edited version of, of this whole Octo uh, extravaganza. And hopefully I've been a little creative. That is my goal. I've never really edited a video much except to, you know, add clips and add pictures. Um, I'm going to try and maybe add a little bit of music maybe. Um, I don't know. It might not be too fancy, but I'm going to give it a little bit of a try. So thanks for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye, everybody.